really. I got a phone call, sorry. Part duh. A of part crash burn. One. <laughs> so, um, okay, where were we? Okay, so, that yeah, that's pissing me off about Emily and her mom. It really, it's making me mad. Okay. Um, Mike is denying that he trashed Connor's car. Now, at the end of last uh, video, at the end of the last um, episode, I was like, oh, it was Mike, it was Mike. And then when I rewatched it, me and Gianna were like, hmm. Hmm. I understand that they just threw Ezra in there and he was looking at Arya. But if you, if they just did that, it would have been like, oh, they're just doing it to make it seem like it was Arya. But, I mean, to make it seem like it was Ezra. But then you see the look on Arya's face as she's looking around her, like, who's looking at me? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? She almost looks hurt. Like, she's embarrassed of what people are saying about her. And then Ezra looks down. I honestly think that Ezra did this. I really do. And therefore felt guilty. Compelled to have to do something about it. And compelled it. to, like, absolutely, like, have to... Like, if I can't be there for you right now emotionally... Then I'm going to be, be there, there and do this. And do this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Um, so, we're thinking that it was Ezra at this point. Um, we could be wrong, but, I mean... Chances are, if you saw the episode, I mean, like, him, well, we'll get to the whole, yeah. you know, Hackett thing, but talking to Principal Hackett and everything, um, he just didn't, he felt guilty for Mike getting in trouble for it, too. Yeah, you know? it could be, it could be, absolutely. Then again, maybe not, who knows, whatever. Anyway. Who the fuck cares? Maybe it was fucking Toby, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was Toby. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Hannah visits her mom in jail, and it broke my heart. Because she's talking to her about, when you get out, we're going to go, you know, skiing. When you get out, promise we're going to do this. Me, like, me. It was terrible. It was fucking terrible. And I'm really getting aggravated that uh, Ashley Marin is in jail right now. She's my favorite parent, aside from Emily's dad. It's just really pissing me off. I'm not okay with this. I don't know what the hell the people at PLL are doing, but I am not okay with this. I'm not. I know, I agree. Like, there's either. certain things that, like, make me upset and make me sad. Like, the whole Kayla being, I mean, the whole to uh, Toby being on the A-team thing. That broke my heart, right. but I was okay with it. Mm -hmm. It broke my heart, but I was like, you know what? We'll see what happens. I'm excited because it, it makes the storyline interesting. This is pissing me off. And I know that fucking Ashley Marin knows something and she's trying to protect somebody. That's what's going on. Which makes me think, if she fucking knows something and she's trying to protect somebody, obviously she's trying to protect somebody that has to be close to her. She's not going to go out on a limb for just uh, Joe Schmo. Like, it's not going to happen. And she's not going to do 20 years in prison for somebody that she doesn't even freaking know. 20 years if she admits... If she admits whatever, yeah. yeah. It was self-defense. But, um... I'm telling you, it's Pastor f***ing Ted that did it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's either fucking Pastor Ted, or it's Hannah's fucking dad. Which, I don't think that she'd be so readily willing to accept jail time on his behalf, as opposed to Pastor Ted... My, but. the only thing that's going through my head right now, okay, the only reason that I think she'd be so willing to not throw her father under the bus is so that Hannah could actually have, like, time with him. She's never I wasn't going to suggest that. Him. I was going to say so that Hannah would actually have, like, a family, basically, with Isabel and that bitch Kate, but... Well, I was thinking because you saw all the shit that her and her father went through. Right. She didn't really know her father that I know. much. I'm thinking that this... If, if it was her protecting Hannah's father, it's because she's giving her and him an opportunity to become close because they've never had that. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't see them making Hannah's dad the one who did it. No, I wasn't going to say that, no. I don't think it was A or anything like that. I really don't believe I don't so. Know. And 
I don't know. It's just, right. it's, it's really confusing, but I, I definitely well, agree an, with the whole pastor A-N-T-O-N. thing. A-N-T-O-N. How do you say that? A-N-T-O-N. Anton. Anton uh, wanted us to talk a little bit about that. Anton. He, Anton, Anton, Anton. Um, wanted us to talk a little bit about that, about how uh, maybe Pastor Ted was the one that did it. And we've said it in a previous video. We do we do stand by that. And we do believe that if, if it was somebody good, with good intentions that did it, it was probably Pastor Ted. Now, could it have been somebody on the A-team? Yeah. Could it have been Shauna? Could it have been Jenna? Yes. I'm just saying. If I it am was somebody so good. sick and tired I know. of hearing I that know. fucking name. <laughs> I feel... You know, I really hope that our little parody video where she gets bit in half by a tiger actually comes true. Because I, for one, will friggin' like throw a celebration on yeah. the behalf we're gonna, of the We're literally liars. throwing a, a PLL Freaks 13 party. You guys are invited. If Shauna gets killed on this show. Okay? Yes. Mark our words. Okay. Um, Toby says to Caleb, Mona thought... Red coat was pulling the strings. Thought. <laughs> word placement, people. Word placement. They strategically used thought. Not Mona knew red coat was pulling strings. She not thought, thought <laughs> that red coat was pulling the strings. Keep that in mind. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay. Um what pissed me off so bad. Okay, this episode last night pissed me off because I couldn't even really watch it that well. But here we are. Caleb has been searching the the plane number for, he says it, two days straight. He's been searching it. Can't find a thing, can't find a thing. Boom. Toby sits down, two seconds into ah! typing on the thing. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a freaking miracle. He, can, he finds it within two seconds. Toby knows more than what he's letting on. Just so you know. Um, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett's a fucking weirdo, okay? I think he's a child molester. I think he might even be on Megan's Law. I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there. Wow. All I'm saying is, I think he might have a thing against... No offense to all you child molesters that watch her. I think that... Maybe the reason that oh, Mr. Hackett's man. coming so down, coming uh, so hard uh, on Ezra and Arya is because maybe he wants Arya for himself. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. But, um, no. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a fucking weirdo, okay? I don't like him. He's like, oh, Miss Montgomery, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> sure, Mr. Hackett. Are we done? Not quite yet. I can't stand him. I want to kick him right off the banister. I swear. I'm going to knock his ass down those steps one day. Okay. So, that's that. Wilden's key apartment. Really? <laughs> apartment key. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not good at talking. Wilden's apartment key. Getting major in talking around here. Why does this guy have a key to Wilden's apartment? Who is he? Whatever. That's all we're going to say about that. Right? There, there is something else. It's just, why did that guy have his apartment key? No, I do have something else to say about that. Really, Emily? Really? But yeah. Anyway. Emily, dumb dumb. Really? Dumb. Okay. Really? So the whole scene with Hannah packing her mom's clothes. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Not even going there. Nigel Let's Wright. Let's not go there. I am not kidding you. I wrote Nigel Wright's name down just from seeing it on the name tag. Nigel Wright. I wrote that down before I knew that something was up with Nigel Wright. It's right there, people. Um, and then, of course, I had underneath it John Smith, but that had no relevance. Okay, who the fuck was Nigel calling? Oh. Okay. Hello. We get to it later. Hey, babe, whatever. Okay. Here's my question. Who the hell... What? In Wilden's apartment. No. In... Okay. In Wilden's apartment, the fucking phone is ringing. Who is calling a dead man? He's fucking dead. Are you kidding me? And if you don't know that, why are you calling... Like... Seriously, well, if, if you, you don't know, know him, that, you would be calling. No, if you know him enough to call him, if you know his number, chances are you know he's dead. Am I wrong? Am I wrong here, people? Am I fucking wrong? 
Who still has a home phone number? What that the they fuck? actually have like voicemail on that doesn't like directly route to their cell phone when they're not in the house. Not to other mention other than my father. Not to mention a stash of porn. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Hmm, Jimmy Kimmel boobs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that pissed me off. Uh, Nigel Wright, boom, again was the pilot. Guess who discovered this? Toby. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Yeah. Toby's knowing a little too much. Toby's figuring everything out, and he's knowing Toby too much. sitting there with Nigel. I mean, Wright. if we all remember, okay, Toby is not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's not. He. I mean, he's smart. Don't get me wrong, but he's not Spencer smart, and he's not Caleb hacking the world smart. Okay, if Caleb can't, you're telling me that he's got. I better... wish Caleb would hack my world. But I'm saying you're telling me that Caleb hacks computers for a living, and you're telling me that he's. Toby did it in two seconds, and Caleb couldn't. Something's up, people. Something's up. I love Toby. Don't get me wrong, but something's up, okay? Um, I, dude, I'm not even kidding you. I've written down what the fuck was in the box that A left in Weldon's apartment was, and then he or uh, uh, blah blah blah. Emily's looking up meat products. Was it meat? Was it like I don't? It was some rancid, foul-smelling shit. Was it meat? <laughs> like what the fuck? Why well, I, I don't even know what's going on. This episode no, was maybe ridiculous. Wilden took a shit in the box. Yeah. Um can't wait to see you at the barbecue. Kisses A. I think Ezra Okay, we think Ezra did it, whatever. Um Byron What the fuck's going on with Byron now? He's like letting Ella go on vacation and He's did nice she go Ezra? on vacation yet? I don't know. They were video chatting. Yeah, so, so I don't she know. had to be. She has to be something. Hmm. Remember, Ella, 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 Ella a, 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 a. Okay, so um, Byron is like doing a complete like 180 and turning around, and now he's being nice to Ezra, and he's getting along. Not, I mean, they're not best friends, but they're getting along. Arya mentions about Ezra, I think he and totally she wanted ignores to stick his tongue down Ezra's throat. It's possible. Episode. He definitely. Okay, does. so sexy Caleb and Toby jumping over the thing. <laughs> he jumps over. <laughs> Toby decides to use the door. <laughs> I'm going this way. I'll just take the door. Cece, really? Do you guys honestly believe that out there? Please tell me. Please tell me you don't. Please tell me someone else besides us watches this TV show. Yes, because if you believe right now that it is really Cece. You must have just started watching this. Um, Emily got her mom suspended from work. whoop de fucking do um, I don't like her mother half the time, so uh, good for her. Um, sunglasses, sitting on the table, and tea. When Nigel comes over and he's like, yeah, babe, uh, that was Caleb, right? Aren't you related to him? And then whatever he says. Okay, was it Jenna that was sitting at the table? We know Jenna was there the night of the fire. Was it Jenna that was sitting at the table and he was mistaking Caleb for Toby? Like, being like, aren't you related to him, Toby, instead of Caleb? Where we, were the sunglasses there, too? It's possible. Um, yeah, he calls her babe and stuff like that. So, what? D dude, Jenna has more boyfriends. Like, she goes through more boyfriends and girlfriends than I, I freaking go yeah. through Duncan, okay? Um, the car gets smashed into Emily's house. God, it was the dumbest moment ever. And then um, at the end, A is buying uh, the hardware for ha home improvement for dummies and buying her a $50 gift card, which I found kind of amusing. Home repair or something yeah. for dummy. I found it kind of amusing. I thought it was hilarious. I, I, I really did. I was like, oh, A has a sense of fucking humor. It's got to be Ren. He told Spencer in, in the first episode, up yours in Latin. I'm telling you, it's going to be fucking Ren, people. Ren is not only a doctor, he's also Bob the Builder. Yes. Can he fix it? Yes, the fuck he can. If he could put together a human body, he can fix it. He could fucking do it. That's it. That's pretty much it. I don't know. If we missed anything, let us know. Besides, oh, and by the way, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Peace.